do you want to learn how to draw this cute, adorable mermaid? She even has a beautiful fade of her hair. Love it. If so, you are going to need something to doodle on, something to draw your doodle with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to outline your doodle when you are done. And don't forget the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, or the paint, so you can add some color to your awesome doodle. Grab all of those supplies, and let's get started! drawing a little cartoon mermaid and we're going to actually make her really cool and give her some rainbow hair and just have a little fun with our little mermaid. So our paper is going to be tall this way and skinny this way. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start with kind of a squiggly line. So I'm going to kind of come out a little bit for her forehead, in a little bit where her eye is and out a little bit for her cheek. And then we're going to go ahead and curve around. It's always easier for me if I turn my paper. So I'll make a nice curved line. Now my line isn't coming up because we're gonna have her hair coming down on the side of her head here. So I don't wanna draw a line all the way up because her hair is gonna kind of come into her face. So now I'm gonna come about the middle here of her face and I'm gonna make a line that's gonna curve up like that. And this would kind of be her mains. So just an up and down, and right here where it curves, I'm gonna come back in. And that's just to kind of give her big poofy hair, kind of like Ariel would have from The Little Mermaid, or Ariel. All right, now I am going to, let's go ahead and draw in, hmm, let's do her hair over here. So we're gonna come up at an angle and we're gonna come down like that. So we're kind of matching that shape there. And then I'm gonna curl in, and then I'm gonna curl way out here. So I've made this, actually looks like an S, like kind of like maybe a graffiti S. Big out and around swoop there. All right, and then I'm gonna swoop inward again. And then I think I'm going to come out, back in, and then I'm going to kind of finish with a little swirl there. And I think I'm going to stop, because I want it to come back into her body, but I don't have her body drawn in yet. Now I'm going to come back up to the top of her head and do a curved line. And it's almost even with this line here, but I'm going to add just a little hair sprig there. That part ends right where this other piece is. There's that, and then I'm gonna curve down just a little bit. I wanna leave this a little over a half an inch maybe here. I'm gonna make a little curve here for the rest of her bangs kind of flowing down on her face. Now right here I wanna put a little flower. So let's go ahead and make some kind of teardrop shaped flowers, or almost like leaves. Not quite flowers, but kind of like a leaf shape. Go ahead and add in two there. And let's see, maybe hmm, we'll do one coming out here and coming in, and then we'll do maybe another one like right here. Just something to kind of be a little flower in the middle there. Or some sea something, something from the sea. Looks like some seaweed maybe. All right, now I'm going to make a piece of hair that's going to come down and meet up with her face there and come back in. And then we're going to curve down with what's going to be like a big backwards J shape. A big backwards J shape. Now I know where I can stick her body. So now I'm going to come back. I'm going to go ahead and come down with two little lines for her neck. 
And then right here, her arm is just going to come down into that hairline that we made right there. Because her hair is going to kind of be covering up a good chunk of her arm there. All right, now we're going to come down. And right where the end of her neck is here, I'm going to come straight down. And I want to make a C shape. And then next to that shape, I want to make a backward C shape. And we're going to do a little line to connect them in the middle. So we've got a C and a backward C. And then we're going to make the shells for her little top. So I'm going to add some little bumps. I want kind of like three bumps. So they look kind of like, maybe like a clamshell. And then I'm going to come down. And right here, I'm going to come back a little bit. So up here, we can go ahead and draw in her arm going down. We can add a little line here for where her um, arm is against her body. And then right here in the middle, let's come in at a V shape. So we're going to make a little V that's going to connect both sides. And you could do a little dot if you want for her belly button, a little circle, a little oval, or just I did kind of like a J. Now I'm going to come around her body and forward here. I'm going to do the same thing here. Come around her body and forward. And this is just the top part of her fin. And then we're going to finish her arm off over here. So her arm can just be going down. Maybe it's next to her side. And then we're going to go ahead and do a curve down. And we will curve back and up. We want her swimming. Okay, and then I'm going to come back here. We're going to curve down for her tush and in. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to curve and meet up with those lines. So there we go. Now where we did our curl here for her hair, we can come out and match it into her body. Because it's kind of flowing behind. We've got some hair here to finish, so we can just do a big curve down here and stop. I do want a little space here because we haven't done the tail yet. So I can come up and around and just try to make a tail, which is really kind of up to you how you want your tail to look. Um, be creative. Make your tail your own little tail here. Okay, so we're going to add in an arm coming down here. It just looks a little silly to me. So I kind of want, well, actually, maybe I just have her arm back behind her body there. There we go. All right, so we've got our little mermaid. Now we're going to give her a little nose, just a little curved line. Give her a little smile. And we need to give her some eyes. So I'm going to come down here, give her two little eyes. Bless me. And give her another eye here. Look how cute she is. And maybe a couple eyebrows because she's got a lot of forehead there we could fill in. Look at how cute our little mermaid is. I love her. Okay, so I'm going to grab my crayons to add a little bit of color. And I think what I'm going to do is give her some very mermaidy colored hair. So I think I want to do like some turquoise, some blues, some light greens, and just kind of fade them into one another. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my supplies. And let's color. All right, so what I'm gonna start with is, I think I might start, oh, as I throw it around. I think I'm gonna start with like the turquoise at the top. So I'm gonna color kind of about next to her cheek area here. I'm gonna color real dark with this turquoise. And if you don't have turquoise, use a green blue. Should be pretty similar. Um, or change your colors, make them your own. Maybe you don't want it to be turquoise first. Just follow how I fade and you could do your own colors. All right, so we're gonna color that top chunk real dark with whatever color you choose. Now, I'm gonna color this in nice and solid. Okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is right where I ended, I want to color lightly. So I'm going to color down very light and I, I've got to fill that whole space. I can't just stop. I got to go all the way across here and then I'm just going to kind of color till it disappears. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Color down side to side. It's just a little easier for me. I'm going to fade it away. It's a little longer on this side than that side and that's okay. Now I do have an opening here. What I'm going to do 
because I think I'm going to use a darker blue to color in that little opening. So her hair is going to be darker underneath because of a shadow, but it also helps add a little extra color to her hair. I might actually go in with this while I have it and just kind of add, make it a little bit of a darker teal kind of around the outside. And wherever I would have a shadow, if I use this blue, it'll just make it look like a nice dark teal, which would be really cool. So let's color that in and I'm gonna color around this sea urchin, whatever on earth it is on her head here, whatever little creature she's got. And now I'm gonna go to the color, let's do like a light bright green, I think would be pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead to this color next. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way up to where I started coloring light and I'm gonna color over it real, real dark. And I'm gonna pull down and I'm gonna get really light. So I'm only gonna color about half of that really dark and then I'm gonna get a little bit lighter. And that way her hair kind of fades from that teal into this baby green. Really bright, pretty green. I just watched somebody do kind of a mermaid hairdo the other day. So that's where I'm getting my colors from. I don't know how legit they are. <laughs> that's just kind of where I'm, uh, that's my reference for right now. So I'm gonna color down and get really light until my green almost just disappears. Come back up here and color real dark. And where you've colored really dark with the other color, you kind of it's kind of not easy to go over that color. And that's how you get this good fade. If you can do a very good fade from the dark to the light, it should color pretty easily. And as long as you color nice and dark, crayon isn't really gonna overlap too much on itself. If you get a darker color, yes, you'll get that. You'll be able to color over it. But with a lighter color, you're not gonna be able to color over it as much. Okay, so there's that. Now what color do I do though? Do I do yellow? Hmm, I probably should have done like a purple, a teal, and a green. So I can't really want to do purple into the light green. I kind of think it needs to be yellow. Hmm, let's use this like golden yellow maybe. Let's see how it looks. No going back now, it's on the paper, right? Okay. It doesn't look that bad. She's gonna have a lot of green and stuff in her little tail. So we color up and fade it out. The yellow is actually slightly darker than this green. So I don't wanna color too hard on top of that green. I wanna color nice and light where they overlap, but I can color really dark everywhere else. So right here I can come up really dark and then just kind of get lighter and fade those two colors into each other. There we go. What color should her tail be? And her seashells and her flower. All right, let's color her in and then see how I feel. So even though she's underwater, that's a weird peach. That's like too orangey. I want it to be like a little tan. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so we're gonna color her. Oh, I forgot right there too. And that should probably be a darker green since the green is around it. Okay. So we're gonna color in her body with a peach and this peach is just a little bit more on the pinkish side. I wanted it to be a little more on the brown side, but I didn't want her to be super pale. I guess I kind of feel like she should have a tan, but she is under the water. So how does she really get a tan? Does she have to go lay out on a rock like the Little Mermaid does? What does she do? How does that work? All right, so back here, since I just saw it, let's get this darker green. Color that in really dark back there. And a gnat in my nose. This must be gnat time. Every time that it rains, my house has a gnat in it. Or 10. A very frustrating time of year. Okay, add a little shadow there. I like her. Okay, now I'm gonna get kind of a darker brown here. Kind of give her a shadow over her forehead. Let's see, there we go. 
That wasn't working for me. Give her a little bit of a tan look going on. She's not so pale. Okay. And a little bit down here by her belly. She should have a little shadow. Okay. Now what color do we do these two things? We can make the flower here a pink. Let's do that. Let's maybe do a little pink so it'll be a nice contrast with all that blue. And go up. And then I'm going to add in maybe a little bit of red on there. Now her body bottom. Oh, I just don't know what to do. Do we keep it green green? And we could do it any color we want. So what color do we want? Hmm. It's the hardest part for me is when I do a drawing and I don't really have colors. It's nice to do it on my own. Maybe we do it red and pink. Hmm. Doesn't quite make sense. Or we just do it green, like a normal. We can use this darker blackish green. We could do a blue. Hmm. Like a blue jean blue. We could do a purple. Let's do a purple. Why not? I'm going to use this lilac, this really light, pretty purple. We'll add in a little darker purple. Or, and you can draw in little scales if you want on her body or color on top of something that's textured and you could get a nice little rubbing onto her tail and get like a design. So I'm going to come around here. We've got her body. Let's get a darker purple. Add a little shadow back here. Fade out color in this upper part, the darker purple. I kind of like the purple. Let me know what you think. Should she have been a different color? Do you like the purple? What do you think? What do you think? Give her a little shadow on her top. And then maybe we'll use this darker purple for her end of her fins here. And you can add some friends. Give her some underwater friends. Add some extras to your doodles. Oh my gosh. She just looks so awesome. Very bright, colorful. A little, what is she, mermaid? Okay, I'm going to add a little shadow in between her fins here. And I think she's done, guys. I like her. If I was a mermaid, I think I would want that hair. Um, if I had the money, I think I would want that hair. <laughs> I don't even think I need to be a mermaid. I love her hair. Look at how cool it is. All right. I hope you had fun doodling with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I can't wait to see you guys again next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.